This is CBC News Montreal at 6. Now for a story that is definitely going to make you smile. It's the story of a little girl and a gift she received that literally saved her life. Now she wants to inspire others. The CBC's Joanne Rackus met Zoe Bernard today. Hey, ça va bien aujourd'hui, Zoe? She's doing just good, just fine, yes. She's a little shy today. Oh, yeah, she is. Today was a big one for this little girl. The four-year-old is only a bit bigger than the torch she was carrying to City Hall. Last year, the tiny Montrealer received the gift of life, a heart from an organ donor. It was a real miracle for her parents. It's just terrible. You see her child just going away. She was she was going the last 48 hours before she got her heart. She we didn't know if she was make, going to make it, and uh, it was a miracle that she had her heart at that moment. Zoe's heart came to her in part through the hard work of the group SOS The Americas. For a seventh time now, the group is carrying a torch through North and South America to raise awareness on organ and tissue donations. For this family, the memory of receiving the gift of a new heart is still very fresh. Everything stops, the world stops turning, nothing else exists. We both started crying. After that, the feeling is like a, a new birth for Zoe. Katia Habra was one of the students who carried the torch for Zoe last year. It's uh, really important because what I mean, once you're dead, you're you're dead. You know, you you had the chance to live and you you had the chance to do what you had to do. But what is the point of you know not giving that chance to someone else who might need it? For this man, Zoe is the perfect spokesperson for the cause. Today, what better spokesperson than to have Zoe Bernard carry the torch? And we're also going to inspire everybody in Montreal and possibly Quebec to sign that organ donor card. For the Bernard family, the issue of organ and tissue donation is one that crosses cultural, ethnic and religious lines because it can in fact affect all of us. They want to remind everybody that the donations that come from one person alone can save up to eight lives. Lives like that of little Zoe's. Joanne Brackus, CBC News, Montreal. Well, if you're an Alouettes fan, you will love